Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools. You ready? You ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Great punch. Bermudez's his cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Put hands on him. Nice jab there by Bermudez. Big head kick lands. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Great punch landing with so much power. Just misses there with the left. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots to the top. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, closed guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Troy gets caught with that punch. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, single collar tie here. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Got a double leg. Oh, nice slam as he gets him to the canvas. Exactly what he needed. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. He's having his way with him here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to, to fold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Back mount now. 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Choi's back in half goal. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Try to establish that jab. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Bermuda as his face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek, and it's only getting worse. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single goal to a high block. Oh! Nice big takedown. What a technique, what a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the block. I mean, right there, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> That's right. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Hey, stop! All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to control the fight on the ground. I think you can get that submission from side control position. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner, right. because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Beautiful strike. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he feels safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Got him whip this hip into that kick. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Punches and punches, punches and punches. Let's go. Let's go. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Straight right hand now, just misses. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Man, that cut has really opened up. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Nice head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh! Double leg. Stuffed. And they separate. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. There's no give on that leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Liver kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice body kick. All oh, collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Bermudez's his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, nice punch there by Bermudez. It's nothing. It's nothing. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been... Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh! Unable to connect there. 20 seconds to go. Big leg kick lands. 15 seconds remain in the round. Ten seconds, let's go, baby. Ten nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Round three next. striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year. Pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take that finish down now. Shot to the body, turned back by Bermudez. Oh, big shot lands. Just missed with the left there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, oh, those are those. Oh! Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Effective punch there by Bermudez. Beautiful leg kick throw. Bermudez's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. What a takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all the fights because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg 
able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice kick there by Choi. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Nice punch lands over the top. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Bermudez is cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. And they separate. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Close guard, nice hand with this. Working off his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. That's a really strong leg kick there by Bermudez. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And he landed the right hand there. Nice punch by Bermudez. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he has landed a... Whoa! All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master. And that's gonna do it! Oh! And there comes the stoppage! He got it! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Here we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision.